The term wisdom tooth removal refers to the surgical removal of the third molars, also called the number eight teeth. Wisdom tooth removal is also known as impacted tooth extraction. Wisdom teeth must be removed if they cause infections, develop a cyst, damage the seventh tooth through their growth, form a weak point in the jaw, endanger a prosthetic provision or make inserting a prosthesis impossible, are destroyed by deep cavities, or if a good treatment such as a filling or root canal treatment is not possible. We will spare you explanations of individual medical terms, such as retained, partially retained, or impacted, because the treatment consequence is always the same. Depending on the position of the particular wisdom tooth, the mucous membrane must sometimes be opened more, in effect, moved to the side, and more or less bone must be removed. As a rule, surgery is performed under local anesthesia and is a routine operation. In the following video, a minor opening is performed because the wisdom tooth is in an easily accessible position. If you'd prefer not to see any blood, return to the beginning and click on Animation. First, the surgeon obtains an overview. He palpates the ascending branch of the lower jaw and properly places the Langenbeck. Then he makes the cut. When doing so, a so-called gingival margin cut is made along the ascending branch of the lower jaw and on the number 7 tooth. You can find out more in the video entitled Gingival Margin Cut. The gums are moved to the side with the respiratory and thus the mucous membrane, including the periosteum, is lifted off the bone. A wide respiratory is placed underneath the periosteum in order to protect the other soft parts, such as, for example, the lingual nerve, because the bone is now removed with a drill. Although the sound of this procedure roars in your head, you don't experience any pain. As soon as the bone is exposed, the instrument is changed. Now the tooth is dislocated with the turning tool and removed as a whole. Any bone chips are rinsed off and the dental follicle is removed as well. Wounds in the mouth heal from the inside out, so you don't have to worry about a hole remaining or food scraps that might become ingrown. Finally, a saliva-tight wound closure is performed, and in most cases, an iodine strip is placed into the wound and removed the next day. As a rule, the swelling increases until the third or fourth day, and then everything subsides. A week after surgery, the threads are usually removed. There are no alternatives to a wisdom tooth removal unless one leaves the tooth in the jaw, which may lead to the previously mentioned complications. The risks of wisdom tooth removal are relatively small with an experienced surgeon. Nevertheless, complications may occur in individual cases, possibly requiring additional measures. Every additional measure may in turn lead to further complications that may then become life-threatening in the course of treatment. At this point, we will only discuss the specific complications encountered in wisdom tooth removal. These are bone infection or osteomyelitis, injuries to surrounding structures such as the tongue, the cheeks, nerves, blood vessels, neighboring teeth, and neighboring roots with corresponding consequences, wound infections, jaw fracture, opening of the maxillary sinus, subsequently leading to an infection of the maxillary sinus, and sensory disturbances of the tongue and or lip. Fortunately, such complications have become very rare because of the positive developments in medicine in the past decades.